One of several suspects involved in Boston's Caribbean Carnival shooting had their day in court on Monday. At least eight people were shot over the weekend and an angry judge is sounding off. Christina Hanger has more. The dramatic turn this weekend's Caribbean American Carnival took in Boston dominated Monday afternoon in Dorchester District Court. You make good points. Judge Jonathan Tynes with an impassioned speech to young suspect Maceo Withers Brewer. And we're talking about someone who's 21 years old. His mother's sitting right there, barely holding it together. He was one of four people arraigned here, six suspects altogether accused of bringing guns to the carnival. Eight people with gunshot wounds in one day. At a festival where people are supposed to be able to go, have fun, relax, and it's not that anymore. We all know that. But that's what it's supposed to be. To celebrate rich cultures, rich history, rich traditions. This ain't it. The attorney and family of another suspect, 30-year-old Dwayne Francis, says he was simply there at the wrong time. My son went up there to enjoy the site, to enjoy the parade, to enjoy himself. His mother says he works for a private security company and had picked up a gun to give it to police. He thought he was doing the right thing by walking to the police and telling them he found the fire. And that was it. And, but instead, they threw him in handcuffs. While city officials said the incidents were not related to the carnival, Boston police reports detailed a history of associated violence, including three deadly shootings since 2020. Judge Tynes telling this suspect his mother is lucky he's here. And she's probably thanking God that the phone call she didn't get from the police was to come down and identify you. But you got to think about that too. 